cross 3 encoder and uh, followed by 3 cross 8 uh, decoder. So now let's start our 8 to 3 encoder. So let me zoom in. Yeah. So for our 8 to 3 encoder, we have the circuit diagram. So this is our 8 cross uh, 3 encoder. So in this encoder, we have 8 inputs and 3 outputs. So this is a circuit diagram. And by referring this uh, circuit diagram, uh, we will see how to code the uh, 8 cross 3 encoder using data flow modeling. So let's start our code. We have uh, let let us take inputs as uh, i0 to i7, i1, i2, i3, i4, i5, i6, i7, and uh, let us uh, take outputs from y0 to y3 and out, output uh, y0 y1 y2 so these are our inputs and outputs for our encoder here uh, we should be careful i0 is my lsb and i7 is my msb followed by y0 is my lsb and uh, y2 is my msb so these are some uh, msbs and lsbs so now let us assign y2 which is equal to by referring the circuit diagram we can assign it so y2 is nothing but here a2 which is equal to y7, y6, y5, y4 or of this y7, y6, y5, y4. So, it is equal to i7 or with i6 or with i5 or with i4. So, this is the OR operation we are performing here. Yeah. And uh, a1. Here in our case y1 which is equal to y7 or with y6 or with y3, y2, 7632. So let me assign it. Assign y1 is equal to 7, 6, 3, 2. And coming to my y naught which is equal to y naught is equal to 7 5 3 1 7 5 3 1 it is equal to 7 5 3 1 actually we can also uh, we will discuss how we are getting these equations in digital so don't, don't worry for now uh, just uh, see how uh, we are writing code for uh, code by referring the wait a minute so for now just uh, uh, see that how we are uh, writing code for code by referring the circuit diagram in digital we will discuss how we are getting the encoder equations also so this is our encoder verilog code now let me write the Test bench for this. Yeah, this is my file, and let me open it. So first of all, let me instantiate. Uh, before instantiating, let me declare uh, inputs as red. I not, I one, I two, I three, I four, I seven, and outputs as wire. I not, I one. Y2. So these are my inputs and outputs for the encoder and uh, let me instantiate it encoder 8 underscore 3 dot i0 2 i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 and outputs y0 y1 y2 y2. So these are my inputs and outputs I have instantiated them. Let me check whether I have instantiated correctly or not. I not I one I two. Yeah. So 
uh, within an initial beginning block i am going to assign the values to this inputs wait a minute here i have up to y2 only yeah so i'll take within initial beginning block we have discussed about this concatenation operator in our previous class right so i will use this concatenation operator i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 i will concatenate it to a tick binary 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all zeros and after some time delay i will concatenate again uh, let me copy this and paste it over here so we uh, uh, we know that uh, the input of an encoder only one input can be high at a time so i will make i7 high so after that i will display uh, so before displaying uh, i will take another uh, register called uh, output underscore encoder so basically this size will be equal to 3 bit that is 2 down to 0 and i will concatenate this to so after one time unit delay output underscore encoder will be equal to concatenation of y2 y1 and y not so this is my output and here we have made a mistake see uh, in the concatenation we are making i not as msb but in our design i7 is msb so here there is a mistake here so it should be wait a minute so we should be careful while making concatenations i have made a mistake here i have taken i not as msb but in our design i7 is msb so i will take i7 i6 i5 i4 i3 i2 i1 i not this is the order which we should follow because in our design we have taken i7 as our msb so while concatenating also we should be careful while writing the inputs i5 i3 i4 i1 i not so initially i have initialized all the inputs followed by i have concatenated to uh, all zeros followed by one that is now i am making i not as one okay let me make i not as one and i am assigning output underscore encoder to the concatenation of y2 y1 y not that is i am making concatenation of all the outputs and storing in output underscore encoder and after one time unit delay i will display this output Play the output of the concatenated output of encoder is uh, percentage B. I will display it in binary followed by output underscore encoder. So after one time unit delay what I will do I will change the inputs I will copy this and paste it over here so now I will make uh, input 7 to high and I will display this output now First of all, let me assign this output underscore encoder after one time unit delay and I will copy this display statement and paste it over here. And let me end this and end the module. So this is the test bench for my 8 cross 3 encoder. So is this clear for everyone? Is there any doubt in this test bench? So basically uh, for my encoder I will get three outputs but uh, what I am doing is I am concatenating all the three outputs and storing it in a single three bit register and I am uh, seeing the output.
<clears throat> let us check what we are getting here oh uh, wait a minute Okay, I am not getting any display statement. Let us check in the waveform. Sorry, uh, I have taken uh, previous uh, design only. I should make my encoder as a top module, then I will get that display. And let me make that TB also top. Let us run again. Yeah. Now let's check the output. Okay, let me close it again. Yeah, I will run it again. Uh, let us check in the waveform. So, when my uh, let me get it. So, initially, I am making all the inputs to 0 and only i0 is equal to 1. So, it is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then, my output are triple 0 and my output underscore encoder is 0 and when I am making i7 as 1 and the remaining inputs as 0 then my outputs y0, y1, y2 are equal to 1, 1, 1 and my and I am storing it in output underscore encoder. So when the input of the encoder is uh, all zeros followed by 1 then the output is 0 and when the input of encoder is 1 followed by all zeros then the output is equal to 1 1 1 1 so this is the data flow modeling of encoder so is there any doubt in this coding is it okay yeah okay yeah so now uh, what we do is uh, we will write the uh, code for decoder and uh, let us uh, test the and let us make the output sorry the inputs of the decoder will be the output of the encoder which we have got so it will be helpful for us to decode that we got the correct outputs or not so decoder 3 cross 8 so I will take the inputs of the decoder as the outputs of my encoder so that we will uh, cross check whether we are getting the correct outputs for the encoder. So this is my decoder, let me make this as a top. Yeah. So let us quickly write the code for decoder using the data flow modeling also and uh, so the circuit for decoder is uh, so this is a circuit for 3 cross 8 decoder basically y0 will be equal to a2 bar a1 bar a0 bar and y1 will be equal to a2 bar a1 bar a0 so on so like that uh, we will uh, by analyzing the circuit we will write the code in the data flow modeling so i will take inputs as y0 y1 y2 and my outputs are i0 i1 i2 i3 
So here y2 is the MSB. Wait a minute, I will mention it here. Y2 is MSB and y not is LSB and uh, I not is uh, LSB and I 7 is my MSB. So be careful while considering MSBs and LSBs. So coming to output uh, so coming to i naught which is equal to naught of y naught and with naught of uh, y1 and with naught of y2 so this is my i naught so let me copy it and paste it over here i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 so basically i0 is nothing but 0 0 0 0 and uh, i1 that is equal to 0 0 1 so not of i0 not of i1 no, and y2 and i2 is nothing but 0 1 0 0 1 0 and i3 is equal to 0 1 1 like this uh, we can simply remember it and uh, i4 is equal to 1 double 0 and i5 is equal to 1 0 1 so for 0 we will make the complement and for 1 we, we will not add complement so this is the way to remember the input and output and i6 is equal to 1 1 0 and uh, i7 is equal to 1 1 1 so for 1 we will not add any complement so is this clear so this is the coding for decoder wedlock code for decoder this is clear right so now we will not clear I will write the TV for this also. Finish. Yeah. Okay. And let me make this as a top module only. First top. So tb underscore decoder. So let me make inputs as reg y not y1 y2 and my outputs as i not y7 and decoder. Let me instantiate it p underscore 8 dot Yeah. So let me check whether I have instantiated correctly or not. Output, yeah. So I have instantiated them. So same, uh, same like uh, encoder test bench. Here also I will use the concatenation operators for making e making it easy. So I will initially make all the inputs as 0 uh, let me write 3 tick binary 0 next so after one time unit uh, so in the case of uh, encoder uh, for the input uh, 1 followed by all the zeros we are getting output as triple 1 so we will give that as to our input of our decoder so here y2 is my MSP, y2, y1, y0. 
and y2 y1 y0 is equal to 3 tick binary 1 1 1 so my output should be 1 followed by all zeros so this is the expected output let's see whether we are getting that so dollar display so before that let me again concatenate all the outputs to a single bit sorry single register i will take 8 bit register output underscore encoder yeah so i will store them in this output underscore encoder which is equal to concatenation of i7 i6 i5 i1 i0 and uh, after one time unit delay i will display it now output of an decoder is percentage b comma output underscore encoder yeah and let me end this and save this so let's see whether we are getting that so is this clear right test bench and design code Yeah, here we can see the output of decoder is one followed by all zeros. So this, uh, so the output which we have got in our encoder is also correct. Sorry, yeah, it is uh, the output which we have got in our encoder is also correct because in our encoder we have uh, given this as our input. So we have got triple one. So I have given the triple one to my decoder. Then I am getting back my this number one triple zero one followed by all zeros so i have verified my encoder and decoder design like this so is this clear for everyone